guys, it's Brandon. I'm back at it again with a follow-up to the Konmoto pomade series that I've been doing. Um, uh, an update from our friends up north, so to speak, from Canada. And today I'm going to be talking about the cream pomade. Now, a lot of people ask what's the difference between paste and cream. They look the same, they act the same. I can only give you what I feel the difference is because there's varying degrees. But to me, cream is usually on the lighter side and usually gives a natural hold. So you can put a little bit in and then add more products on top to just give you, you know, more of a different look, so to speak, a layered type thing. Some people don't like layering the same product, so you can put a medium to lighter product in your hair. Pastes are usually natural shine to just matte and they usually give you a higher hold. You can wear them on their own, although you can use them as pre stylers as well. So basically in layman's terms, creams are usually lighter and pastes are usually heavier holding. They can vary though. Anyways, getting into this, this one is a medium hold natural finish, uh, water soluble. And the design on this is really cool. I like all of the Konmoto designs. Uh, there's just some different colors in the, the uh, art on the front so you can distinguish when you're looking at your tins as I'm looking over there. Some are white, some are gold. It's just the different color of the uh, animal on the front. So popping it on the back, this one says, rub a small amount between palms until product softens. Distribute evenly through dry hair and style as desired. Now, I made a fuss about how it's important to use a product as you know it says on the back. Sometimes you get varying results. For me, um, my hair is basically almost dry. I would say it's like, I don't know, a one out of 10. Um, so it's not completely dry, but I still get good results with this in damp hair, just saying, not to, I guess, spoil it. Uh, looking at the product, it's just a typical kind of white, um, you know, pomade looking, nothing too much exciting to say about it. Uh, I left the top layer like I usually do so that I can show you scooping. It's really easy. It comes out like nice and creamy. Um, as a cream should break down on this take a little bit in there put it in your hands this is one of those ones that won't completely disappear even when you're warming it up I'm warming it up you can see it's starting to disappear just keep warming your product up and then put it in your hair now application on this especially in drier hair is gonna be really easy the one thing I want to state about the Konmoto pomades that I've noticed is that taking a little extra time to break them down seems to work on all formulas. Um, so just as a good uh, point of measure, I guess you should say, is just break it down until your hands feel warm. You don't have to rub your hands like vigorously or crazy, but just break it down until you start to feel some warmth in your hands and then you'll be fine. Um, for this stuff, because it is a little bit lighter, I put in a couple of scoops. Um, and because this is on the lighter side, I will show you how I style it. I usually will style kind of like the, the tussle type look with these types of products. So I'll kind of do something maybe like this and like pop it up, which, you know, as you're going through the day, it works fine. Uh, but I would say with like a pompadour type situation or something like that, you definitely can get some loss of shape throughout the day. Um, now, I'm not trying to limit the product by saying, oh, you should only do it like this because that's not true. This product has some good hold to it and you can do all sorts of things to it. But I'm, I'm just saying that uh, in particular, the endurance and the styleability on this, I feel like, or the endurance and longevity, I should say, I feel like will taper at the end if you the end of the day depending if you do like a big bulbous thing this isn't super big so something like this could hold for the majority of the day um, but doing something really big there is a chance that you might have to restyle now that's not a problem because there I think I'm just gonna do something small today that's not a problem with these types of products because you're kind of looking you're kind of sacrificing certain things for other things and these regards usually with like creams and with paste um, you're usually getting like more of a natural look or just something that you can tussle your hair up with like I was saying uh, you're usually getting that for uh, 
usually replacing that for like some sort of longevity. Now, it depends on the product. This is just what I personally, as a working gentleman, especially when I was doing hospice back in the day and running around all day in the elements here in Cleveland, this is just from my opinion. I'm sure that there's other people that when they, you know, are in the office or whatever, they can get a good style and get a good uh, hold for the whole day. But out in the elements, I feel like, you know, it, it differs. But I wanted to show you that you can get a pump like natural or by styling. I'm gonna tussle it up like I just did and get kind of like this messy look because that's what I like when I'm wearing these types of products. And I think that looks pretty decent. I'm sure there's, <laughs> I'm sure there's people critiquing out there, but for me, I do what works for me. So if you're a working man or you're new to these types of products, don't let anyone tell you that, you know, you're not doing it perfect because you're not styling it like everyone else. Do your thing, be you, and yeah, that's that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because really with these types of products, I just mess with my hair throughout the whole day. That's the one thing I really like about these types of products is that because, um, they give you a natural look, you can just kind of fart with your hair all day. And I like farting with my hair. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it kind of messy like this. Maybe pop it up a tiny bit and lock in the sides over here for starters. And I'm gonna call it good. So anyways, um, <laughs> see I just keep messing with it. <laughs> anyways, what do I think of the Konmoto cream pomade? Well. I think it works pretty good, actually. I think that it has, I think it gives you exactly, you know, looking at it, medium hold, natural finish. I think this will dry up a little bit because like I said, my hair was a tiny bit damp. But I think it'll give me a nice natural look and I'll be able to mess with my hair throughout the day. You can lock it in too, like I said, if you want to. I personally don't like doing it with these types of products. Also, uh, these types of products work really good with a blow dryer and I don't use that. So for me, I kind of limit myself personally and that's just my own thing, but you can use a blow dryer and comb your hair up and blow dry it and you'll get a nice result with this as well. So what do I think? It has pretty good in endurance, especially for a medium. Um, I like to wear it as a standalone because I like lighter products. It's a good winter uh, you know, product. So if you're up in the Canadian region, like our friends are, then yeah, this is gonna work really good for you. Or if you're in a cold place like Cleveland, I'm about ready to go out and I think there's like 30 degree and it's snowing and I'm not gonna wear a hat. I'm just gonna let this do its thing. It's gonna harden up and it's gonna be really easy to style with and play with throughout the day so I like it I'm gonna give this a 4.3 out of 5 I think that this is a great uh, pomade great cream so to speak and um, gets out in one wash decent endurance easy styleability um, pretty good longevity you know for what you're getting for what is advertised so overall I'm and you know I'm pleased, I'm impressed. So I don't have too much to say, short and simple. So anyways, guys, um, if you have any questions about this product, put it in the comment section below. Have a good one.